All right, in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to machine a brake drum using the old AccuTurn brake lathe. This is an older brake lathe, but it's still popular. There's still a lot of them used in industry today. Here's the brake drum and all the accessories and attachments that will be used. Just like on the Hunter brake lathe, we will explain to you how to choose the correct adapters for each drum as time goes on. Today, we just want you to be able to use these simple attachments to mount that brake drum up and machine it. First thing I do is get the inside support piece and slide it on the shaft. Once again, being careful not to bump the shaft because you can warp it. Just slide it in place. Now on this particular brake lathe, we have to use two springs. The one spring is too worn out, so turn one on in that direction and one on in this direction. So whenever we slide the centerpiece on, the centering cone up, it is out past the support. Okay, and that keeps that out so as we slide the drum on, it helps keep it centered on the shaft. Take the drum, slide it up on the cone. Do not let it fall down and bump the shaft. Slide your outer support on. Compress the spring. Grab your adapter. Slide it on the shaft. Just like the other lathe, this nut is a left-handed nut, meaning left tightens and right loosens. That is backwards from most nuts we'll deal with. Rotate it to the left. While you're rotating it to the left, rotate the drum to help keep it centered. Take the wrench. You want to just bump it to the left. Don't over tighten it, just a good bump is enough. Okay? Now on this brake lathe, back up over there. On this brake lathe, you've got a switch here that says rotor or drum. You want to be sure that you flip it to whatever you're cutting. Right now we're cutting a drum, so I'm going to flip it to drum, and I'm going to watch that drum and make sure it's running straight. On a rotor, you want to make sure it's not moving this way. On a drum, you want to make sure it's not moving up and down. Make sure everything's turning good. If it's turning good and smooth like that right there, you can flip the lathe off. Once again, anytime you're working over here, nobody needs to be around that switch over there. If anybody's around that switch, ask them to move. If they won't move, come find me. Now, we got our drum chucked up. Everything's running straight. Now it's time to install our anti-chatter band here. This performs the same function as the one on the rotor did. It's just slightly wider and longer. Okay, the trick to these is start with the opened end, hold it right here, come around, hold it right here, come around again, and you want to pull tension on it every time you come around. Coming all the way around the drum. And once you run out of slack, Once you run out of slack, it just locks in like that right there. Okay? See, I was holding it like this right here. Once you get it all wrapped up on there, slide it on, reach back around, make sure everything's good and square. Now I'm going to have to retighten my nut here because I loosened it, pushing the drum around to show you that. So now that we're sure everything's good and tight, move back over there. Now, we're going to reach back here, and on this machine right here, here's your controls. This one right here, this wheel right here, controls the cutter in and out this way. This wheel right here controls the cutter in and out in this direction. Okay? So just a little snapshot of what we're going to do here. Whenever we get this thing up and running, we're going to move this out to about the middle of the drum. Once we get to the middle of the drum, we're going to take this wheel and rotate it in this direction until it barely starts scratching the inside of the drum. Once it's scratching the inside of the drum, we'll go back to this wheel and go all the way over off of the brake shoe surface. Once we're there, we'll come back to this wheel and rotate us in a couple of thousandths in this direction and we'll flip our switch on here. Once we flip the switch on, this will automatically drag our cutting wheel back across the drum to cut our brake shoe surface inside the drum. Okay, so flip it to drum. I'm gonna go in. 
Now I'm gonna grab this wheel right here and I'm gonna take this cutter and go over to about the middle. Now, as you're coming in with this cutter, you always wanna make sure that that centerpiece back there gives you enough clearance for the cutter to come in. If the centerpiece is too large, it will hit the cutter. And that will cause major problems, so always be sure that you pay attention and make sure your support on the back is not too big for your cutter. Once I get into approximately the center, I'm going to come back to this wheel and actually move the cutter in this direction until it starts scratching the inside of the drum. I'm going to try to stand over here out of the way so the camera can get everything. Come in right here, Mike. So they can see the cutter move. Can you see the cutter? Yes. Tell me when I'm getting very close. Keep going. Yeah, I think right there. All right, now that I'm very close, I'm gonna slow way down and listen for the scratch. bit too far. Back up. Gonna take that in just a little bit more. Too far again. All right, come back out here and let me get over there so you can see. Let me get out here so I can see. And you want to listen for the scratch. Now, once I hear a good scratch pretty much all the way around, I know I'm touching the drum where I need to touch it. Now this brake blades right here don't allow you to set any controls out here, so we're not able to set zero. We just have to use the scale where it's at. Now that I've got zero set, I'm gonna come back to this wheel and rotate the cutter all the way to the back side of the drum, paying very close attention. Once I'm there, we'll move the camera around so you can see that. Get the light down so you can see. And you can hear it constantly scratching as it's going across. All right, Mike, come around with the camera and show them what the cutting bit. Once you get the cutting bit all the way in, back back up to the zero. Once you get the cutting bit all the way in, you want to come back to your wheel that controls the bit going in this direction. And you want to listen. Remember, we heard the scratch before. We want to pay attention to the little dimple right here and go about three to four thousandths right here. Each line on this lathe represents one thousand. Unlike the other machine where they represent two thousand. Every making model is going to be just a little bit different. One, two, that's just about three right there. Once I'm there, you come down with the switch right here. Flip that switch over, and that's gonna turn this on to automatically drag our cutter back across the drum. You should hear it cutting the drum as it's coming back across. One of the downfalls of this brake lathe is it's slow and it's not adjusted. But, if you use it, and use it properly, it will put a very good cut on a rotor or a drum. And the other thing is, you don't have to do a finish cut. All your initial and final passes are all done with each cut, so when the drum or the rotor is clean, you're done. Okay? Just like on the, on the rotor over there, while the drum is cutting, you want to be close by so you can hear it and pay attention if you hear any problems immediately stop the operation of the machine over there. Alright, pause. See if it'll stay on it gets out close. It's gonna take this a minute. 